This is the bike of EF Education Easy Post Stage Hunter, the Danish hitter Magnus Court. And the reason I've pulled this one out for you today is because it has a fresh new paint job for the tour following the team's collaboration with Palace Skateboards. Cannondale's clearly talented in-house painter has obviously been very busy. Hopefully he might get sent some of the team issue limited edition Crocs as a thank you for his troubles. Perhaps he wouldn't want them, I don't know. Anyway, under the paint job here, you have Cannondale's Super 6 Evo. The team riders get a choice between two models. This, the lightweight bike, which still has aerodynamic touches like the tube profiles, the drop stays, the integrated cables, then the out and out aero bike, which is the System 6. Now, according to Cannondale's calculations, the System 6 aero bike will be faster in pretty much all instances until the gradients hit 8% or more at which point the lightweight bike will therefore be faster. But as with the frames, the riders also get a choice with their wheels. They're using Vision Metrons and they have either a shallower, lighter 45 or more aerodynamic 55. The lighter wheels don't tend to be quite as fast at higher speeds, but are better for the super hilly stages. And so the riders will swap them out depending on the stage profiles. Now, unusually, EF riders also get a choice of the types of tires that they use. So traditional tubular tires tires or tubeless tires where instead of having an inner tube inside you have a liquid sealant so should the rider get a puncture then that sealant theoretically plugs the hole as they're riding a lot. Now you can quickly tell the difference between them because the tubular tire has this cream colored sidewall whereas the tubeless tire is black. Now on paper the tubeless tires are the faster option because they generate less rolling resistance as they're going along but again rider preference plays a part as does the demands of a particular stage. Now the tubeless tires interestingly also come fitted with Vittoria's airliner which is a run flat system so should that liquid sealant not be able to fix the puncture as the riders going along they can still ride until they can get a replacement wheel or bike from the team car. The team are using Shimano's Dura Ace group sets, but they swap out the chain sets for FSA SLKs. Still using the same size rings though as the Dura Ace ones, 5440s. Now this is actually Magnus Court's spare bike. On his race bike, he's got a power to max power meter on there as well. Now in terms of the other bits, you can see you've got Wahoo's aerodynamic speed play pedals. We've got a Prologo saddle. And then up front, slightly interesting. So Magnus's position means that he needs a slightly steeper stem so the rest of the team are using Vision Metron one-piece carbon bar stem, but he's got a two-piece there, slightly less aerodynamic. Hopefully that won't be a problem for him. He does have the aerodynamic pedals instead, of course. Pretty narrow up front, but not super narrow, 40 centimetres wide with a slight flare on the drops that add another couple of centimetres. The weight of this bike is not very much at all. Clearly 7.1 kilos, even with this custom colored Wahoo head unit, which has got to be said, I really want. Since filming this video, Magnus went on to feature in four breakaways on four successive days, wear the KOM polka dot jersey for over a week and also win a stage aboard this very bike. Unfortunately, Magnus Court then also went on to catch COVID-19 and had to pull out of the Tour de France. So we wish him well in his recovery and also would like to thank him again for lending us his bike so that we could make this video. Let us know in the comments section what you think of the EF Palace collaboration. And if you've enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you check out our other Tour de France Pro Bikes on the GCN Tech channel.